so this is again how we can confirm that George is telling the truth by way of witnesses this is witness number six again John he sees them out in this direction George's body position is on the ground like this in about this direction he can somewhat see the left side of Trayvon's face from the back which makes perfect sense when he's looking out this way if Trayvon's on top of George at some point they scoot somewhat downward and from the north south direction now so the body positions then will move let's move our body positions to more of this direction where George is now like this with Trayvon on top of him now when he looks out there he thinks they're still there they actually moved up onto the sidewalk but given the how dark it is he could be wrong about that part but he knows that they have moved perpendicular about uh, to the sidewalk so they scooted downward and to the south a bit now if we look at the photos of Trayvon's body we'll see that his feet and head are pointing from the south to the north direction sure enough that's exactly how it would be if he had been on top of George when George shot him the reason why he's facing up here is because he got rolled over to give CPR to him this is also important to understand because in my next little video we're gonna talk about Mary and Selma but for now just keep in mind that in my first video we confirmed with witness 6 that he was able to confirm the part of George's story that he was oh, fuck. stop the fucking video